But you guys need to stop littering because it's not good for our earth. And it's not good for us. If we want to go swimming more in the ocean or lake or rivers, we got to have a nice clean area or the garbage area is going to be polluting all our water. Hey. Yeah, uh, so it'll be polluting all the water and then we won't be able to ever go swimming again. This building used to be full auto and it used to be a gas station until it got abandoned like it is today. Right now it's a abandoned building and I think we need to do something with this building to get it back functioning again or to get the lot so we can build something else on it. Not even us. Someone else needs to build something on this lot. And uh, like I say, it is a pretty messy day out. Like I said, it's uh, this area is pretty clean, it looks like. It's all the other areas have a lot of garbage. Like even there's even stuff stuck in the cracks, like cigarette butts and. I don't know if you see that cigarette butt, but you do, you do. But I am just looking around and there's a little more garbage. Okay, we're almost to work. But uh, like I say, there's a lot of garbage out today. Well, there's always a lot of garbage out. It just depends if you're looking for it or not. Uh, so we're going up here to the lights to uh, cross the street. And then once I've done that, I will head over and cross the street to work. But even if you look up here, even, I bet you there's more garbage. But not enough of these bus stops have garbage cans. Like this one here has a garbage can. But not enough of them in St. Thomas have garbage cans like this. Or the bags are never replaced anyway. But I have hardly seen garbage cans. I have hardly seen garbage cans at the bus stops. So yeah, that's quite interesting though, that we hardly have them at our bus stops. Nine fifty-four. Let's just cross up the lights, we're already here. We're just going to cross at the lights here and then we're pretty well all done. <laughs> Holy. I think it was Jay or someone like that. But I'm just crossing over. But first I'm just about to hit the man. So we can cross the street safely.
So now we're going to cross the street here. As we cross the street, we are filming a bit. But yeah, uh, this sidewalk's very, I don't know if you see it, but it's very, very skinny here. I'll show you. From up there, it's very, very skinny. And it gets very, there's not enough sidewalk, but look, there's still more garbage in the gully. This used to be train tracks too, by the way. Uh, but yeah, right now we are in an adventure. Walking to my mom's house in a different way than I normally walk from mom's to mom's house. Right now we are behind the format center. Now we are behind format. Which is a factory. But uh, pretty soon I didn't look for a spot to just once we're far enough in the woods here, it's a very Big factory, apparently. I didn't realize how far this factory went behind the woods here because this used to be railroad tracks and everything. And uh, the railroad tracks must have had a ramp or something here. And I thought the railroad tracks were still being used to this day. And apparently, they're not. But they're somewhere on the factory roof. But you probably can't see that. I should just ask one quick question. Right now I am behind a couple of different buildings. I don't know what they are, if it's just factories or what they are. But behind the camera is format over here still. But this building, I don't know what it is. And then I believe one of these buildings it's just factories or something. But we're getting into what's the woods here. And we're getting to very uneven ground here. It was all along, but it's getting worse. There's a bulldozer back there as well. Um, and like I said, very uneven ground. I can't believe there used to be train tracks back here. And somewhere back here is very secret. But yeah, look, there's even a little walkway. There must be a dam or something there. It says private property. That's not.
But I don't know what that is. Maybe it's animal poop. And then there's some pine cones back here. Look it. There's even a forklift or something up there. But as you see. As you see, there's something to reach the very top of all that metal. But yeah, like I say, it's pretty much all woods at this point and the ground's very uneven so I got it very well washed. The way I'm stepping. And I don't know what could be back here, but like I say, that's all the metal that I was talking about. And they probably have to get stuff out from up there sometimes. And it's probably very slippery on top or walking in it, whatever they have to do. And this is RV World over here and uh look at all the metal and stuff like that but yeah like i say it's cold out but it's too hot so as i zip up my sweat and my coat it's too hot as soon as i zip up my coat it's too hot out here but like i say there's a lot of trailers over there and then there's a lot of metal over this way. But like I say, in just a couple of minutes here, we will be uh, about at my mom's house. But when I get there, I gotta use the washroom. But yeah, right now, as it's cold out, as it's windy out, And as it's freezing out as well, there might be a deer in the back here. Who knows? I hear there's some dead animals back in these woods somewhere. Look it down here. Okay, why are these people going? Right now it's raining, it looks like. Well, it was raining earlier, but it's not now, I guess. It's just spitting. Because I think I felt the drop there. 